This is George Flynn, and you're watching Your American Dreams. You can go to Your American Dreams, that's Your American D R E A M S dot com, anytime, day or night, and watch this or any of the other videos. But this one, you'll probably want to watch once, twice, maybe even three times more, because every time you watch it, you'll find more information in this video. It's going to be cram packed with information for you to help you protect yourself against something that keeps invading, invading, invading you. You know, a lot of people are hesitant to talk about this situation because this situation involves you. And it's going to take a little bit of practice to make it not involve you. And what I'm talking about is the negative influence of all the, the, all the things around you. It's the big negative, the things that make you unhappy, make you worried about situations, make you frustrated. It's this that's going on. And most people are very hesitant to talk about it. I want you to know there is something you can do about it, and we're going to talk about the problem and the frustration that most people have with this. Now, I say frustration in that you don't really know it's happening to you, but all of a sudden you know you just don't feel right. You don't feel good about things. What I'm talking about is the news and the way the news is presented to you. The news is presented to you from all kind of sources. Now, I'm not just talking about radio, TV, newspapers. I'm talking about all of it. People respond to bad news. And it's frustrating. Frustrating for everybody that we have so much bad news. But the bad news is there. The good news is there also. But what people have learned in the media is that bad news sells. On TV, the, the old kind of axiom or motto or even joke is, if it bleeds, it leads. In other words, that's the lead story. Whatever is the goriest, whatever is the worst, whatever is the most negative story that you can come up with, that's the leading newscast. And for some reason, we as humans are drawn to negative news. Now, I've been trying to figure out why we're drawn to negative news, and I think it may be because, well, number one, we're glad it's not happening to us, and number two is we like to see fights, or we like to see disagreements, or we like to see, I, I, I have no idea what it is, but for you and for other people, it may be different things. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, I'm just saying, that seems to be human nature. Now, you're watching this on a, a TV station that's oriented toward uh, Christian values. And this is what we, what we go by. You may be watching this in Duluth, Minnesota, or Jackson, Mississippi, or uh, Destin, Florida, or Denver, or wherever you're watching it. Memphis, you, you're watching it. And we're on in a lot of cities. But what I found is it's the same everywhere. Now, I'm sure you've got some thoughts about this. And I'll give you the email address right now, and then I'll give it to you at the end of the program. It's gsflynn, F-L-I-N-N, at gmail.com. Go ahead, email me your ideas, your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. Well, we were talking about the frustration we have with the negative news and the negative influence that comes into our lives. It comes in on a daily basis, and it comes in as a barrage. You read the newspaper, or you read the, watch the TV news, or you listen to the radio, or you watch any of the cable channels. All the news that comes to you seems to be negative. The good stories 